Let's look at section 4.4 basics. Now one thing you need to understand is that fractions can be separated out. So we've got 4 to the 5th as our fraction here, and it's equal to 4 times 1 fifth, right? So let's do a couple more examples. 3 7th. We can write that out as 3 times 1 7th. 9 tenths can be written as 9 times 1 over 10. This is going to become important. And um, because multiplication is comp commutative, we can write this the other way. 9 over 10 is equal to 1 tenth times 9. It doesn't matter which way we write it out. All right, so now our goal here is we're going to convert between radical form and exponent form. And right here is the simplest one, 4 to the power of 1 half. 4 to the power of 1 half is equal to the square root of 4. That's easy. The index is right there. The denominator becomes the index. Let's look at a couple more examples. 4 to the power of 1 third is equal to the cube root of 4. 4 to the power of 1 fifth is equal to the fifth root of 4. 4 to the power of 1 over 10 is equal to the tenth root of 4. You can see how, so long as the fraction is 1 over a number, it's a very simple process to convert. All right. Now, we should be able to recognize a radical and change it into an exponential form, right? Math. You can do it one way. you got to be able to do it the reverse so nine to the, the cube root of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 3. What's the fourth root of 9? Equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 4. The fifth root of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 5. The sixth root of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 6, so on and so forth. These are easy. You should be able to do these quickly and easily. All right, let's convert them out with fractions that aren't so simple. So let's take a look at 6 to the power of 3 halves. So 6 to the power of 3 over 2. Now We're going to use the power to a power rule here. So I'm going to convert this, change this up to 6 to the power of 1 half times 3. Right? I just changed my fraction to a different form with multiplication. Then I'm going to change this to a power to a power. 6 to the power of 1 half to the power of 3. This, Hopefully all of this made sense here. I'm just using the power to a power rule. 6 to the 1 half I know is equal to the square root of 6 to the power of 3. Right, Any number to the power of 1 half is the square root of that number. Now, let's take a look at this another way. So I'm going to choose a different color. What happens if we write it this way? 6 to the power of 3 times 1 half. This is the other way. This is equal to 6 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 half. Now this whole 6 to the power of 3 is to the power of 1 half, so we square root everything. So this becomes the square root of 6 to the power of 3. These two are equal. Basically, the denominator, you can see the denominator here becomes the index down here, and the numerator becomes the power that we're raising it to. And that power can be inside or outside the radical, and it will still be the same. All right, let's look at the second one. This one we have a radical. And we are asked to turn this into a 
an exponent with a fractional, a power with a fractional exponent. So the 3. So let's undo the radical sign first. So this is going to be equal to 5 to the power of 2. Everything that's in the radicand gets placed in parentheses, and the cube root means 1 over 3. So 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Now we use our power to a power law to get 5 to the power of 2 times 1, 3, is equal to 5 to the power of 2 over 3. You can see the numerator was the power on the 5, and the denominator was the index on our radical. Now, it doesn't matter which way we do this. In this one, the we had an exponent in the radicand. This one, we have an exponent outside the radicand. But we just follow a similar procedure. This question. Well, let's change what's in the parentheses into a power with a fractional exponent. So in the parentheses, we're going to have 18 to the power of 1 fifth. Right, the fifth root of 18 is the same thing as saying 18 to the power of 1 fifth. And we raise that to the third power. Now we use our power to a power rule. 18 to the power of 1 fifth times 3. Lastly, we can combine those two. 18 to the power of 3 over 5. All right, so what you should be able to do here is you should be able to take a power with a fractional exponent and turn it into a radical. And you should be able to take a radical and turn it into a power with a fractional exponent. Now, just one last thing. Parentheses are important. Is negative 2 squared the same thing as, in parentheses, negative 2 squared? Well, let's look at this one. This would be negative 2 times 2. The square only applies to the 2. So our answer to this question is going to be negative 4. So this one is going to be negative 4. This one, the square applies to everything in the parentheses. So this one's going to be negative 2 times negative 2, which will equal plus 4. So yes, parentheses are very important. When you see parentheses, it is important that you write them down and use them. All right, so that's all for the basics. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below or contact me.